Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the basic similarity theorem. So last time, may mga videos tayo about some theorems para ma-introduce natin yung similarities between triangles. And this time, meron tayong tatlong pag-uusapang similarity theorems. We have the AA similarity theorem. Next is yung ating SAS similarity theorem. We have the number three, SSS similarity theorem. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, we can consider that the two triangles are similar at yung mga conditions natin na number one, if they have the same shape. So syempre, same shape sila because dalawang triangles yung pinag-uusapan natin. Number two, if the corresponding congru if the corresponding angles are congruent. And lastly, if the corresponding sides are proportional. So yun yung mga basic criteria natin. So we, here, meron tayo sa ating video or sa content natin mismo, we will talk about AA, SAS, and SSS similarity theorem. Ang target natin ngayon is for you to better understand at ma-analyze natin yung given figure whether those figures are similar gamit yung mga theorems ito. So let's start with angle-angle or AAA similarity theorem. So it goes like this. Two triangles are similar. Again, two triangles are similar. Again, the word is similar. If they have two pairs, two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. So, ano, sir, anong ibig sabihin niya? Simple lang naman yan, guys. Sabi dito, para masabi natin that these two triangles are similar using angle-angle similarity theorem, dapat daw yung dalawang angles nito o yung corresponding two angles nila ay congruent. So, given this triangle, we have triangle, triangle G, O, N. We have triangle G, O, N. And we also have triangle A, B, C. So as you can see guys, wala pa tayong ginagawa nga na statement for similarity. As you can see guys, um, we have here three, triang uh, three angles in triangle G, O, N. And basically, sa figure natin, we have here the markings for angle O and angle N. And going to the other triangle, we have triangle ABC. As you can see, sa triangle ABC natin, we have the markings of for angle B and angle C. Ngayon, sir, nasan po dyan yung tinutukoy natin angle-angle? So look at angle O and angle B. Based on their markings, we can say that angle O is congruent to angle B. Diba? Angle O is congruent to angle B. And on triangle GON, as you can see, you have angle M is congruent to angle C. As you can see, para sila na markings. Ibig sabihin, sir, ang ibig sabihin ng congruent ka po ulit, ang ibig sabihin niyan is that the measurements of those angles are, are equal in terms of the measurement. So ngayon, sir, Ibig sabihin po ba, if they are congruent, uh, we can say that triangle GON and triangle ABC are similar? Yes. So we can definitely create a similarity statement. Again, uh, we can cre create similar statement like triangle GON is similar. Is that the word that's yung similar natin? Similar to triangle ABC. B, C. Sir, bakit nga po ulit? Kasi nasatisfy niya yung theorem natin. If they have two corresponding angles that are congruent, automatic, they are similar. Sir, ano yung ano? Um, bakit po nangyari yan? Actually guys, uh, yung AAA natin is also somehow, we can consider as AAA. Kasi kapag congruent yung dalawang angles nito sa dalawang angles ng other triangle, we can say that the third angle of this triangle is also congruent to the third angle of the other triangle. So that's it for the first similarity theorem na meron tayo, which is angle-angle similarity theorem. In the next part of our video, I'll be discussing about the SAS similarity theorem. Now for the second property of similarity na meron tayo, 
we have here the side angle side or SAS theorem. So it goes like this. If two sides of one triangle are proportional to two corresponding sides of another triangle and their included angles are congruent, then the two triangles are similar. So satisfying this theorem for us to say that this triangle ABC is congruent to triangle OGN or this one. So una, punta man natin yung two sides are proportional to the corresponding sides of another triangle. So as you can see, yung AB natin, we can have our proportion, your AB corresponds to your OG. Okay? And then that is equal to um, AC that corresponds to OM. OM. So again, ah, you have here AB and OG, AC, and OM. So given the measurement of AB, which is 12, over your OG, which is 36, and your AC, which is 15, over your OM, which is 45, and ito rin lang natin to, simplifying these two fractions, it will give you one third. One third. Since they are equal, we can say that they are proportional. Ibig sabihin ang satisfying natin, if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two corresponding sides of another triangle, ito na po yun. And ang kasunod nun, and their included angles are congruent. If masatisfy pa natin to, we can declare that these two triangles are similar. So as you can see, we have here included angles. Included. Kaya siya tinawag included sa review lang natin. Because it is between the two given sides. So yung angle 47 nyo, you have angle A is congruent. Again, angle A is congruent to angle O. So bakit po? Because both of them measures 47 degrees. So ngayon sir, if nasatisfy natin yung ating um, given triangles o yung theorem natin, can we declare that it was, these two triangles are similar? Yes. We can say that triangle A, B, C is similar to Gumano natin ang konti. We can say that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle O, G, N. Yan pala dapat ang pangalan. O, G, N. Okay? A, B, C is similar to triangle O, G, N. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung uh, pinakalaman ng side angle side theorem to prove that the two triangles are similar. So, in the last part of our video, I'll be giving you the last similarity theorem that we have today. Now, for the last part of our video, we are given here the side-side-side, or SSS theorem. If the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. So, we are given here two triangles that we, we need to prove it. Uh, we need to prove that they are similar using the SSS similarity theorem. And given this triangle, FLO corresponds to triangle BIT. Ibig sabihin yung mga parts na like corresponding. So, sabi dito, if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional. So, given this triangles or this statement, we can create a proportion, proportional statement like FL or side FL over side BI is equal to FL first second, first second BI and then Second, third, LO, you have LO over IT. And for the last ratio, you have um, the first third, which is FO. You have FO over, you have FO over BT, first third ng second triangle natin. So getting the measurement of this side, this is 15. This is 15 over 30, right? This is 30 
is equal to LO, your LO is 20, and then your IT is 40, you have your FO, which is 25, and your BT is equal to 50. And as you can see, as we go, we go, we go along this proportional statement, simplifying this, this will give you 1 half is equal to 1 half is equal to 1 half. Since their scale factor is 1 half, or ibig sabihin, they are equal. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. And we can create this statement, triangle FLO is similar to triangle BIT. Ganun lang po kadali yung pag-approve or pag-check whether SSS theorem is applicable. Uh, in the similarity of these two triangles. So I hope na natutunan nyo yung konsepto o yung mismong laman ng video natin about basic similarity theorem. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Pero bago magbabay, pwede kang mag-request ng topic na ng gusto mong i-discuss ko sa ating video. So, i-comment mo lang sa ating comment section. Bye-bye!